A lot of people have MacBooks, but most of those people don't know all the features that their MacBook can do. So today I'm going to be giving you 15 of the best tips and tricks that you can do on your MacBook to make you, well, way better at doing your work. You can use Spotlight or the little key with the magnifying glass on it to solve your math problem. So all you have to do is hit that little magnifying glass key and then it'll pop up and then you put your math problem in there, anything, and it'll solve it for you. If you double tap the top middle of any app or window that you have open, it will become full screen and you will see nothing else but just that app. Hot Corners is a feature that most people don't know about and what it is is if you hover your mouse in any corner of the screen like for example for me if I put it in the bottom right hand corner it will open a note so you can pick a bunch of different commands that they can do if you put your mouse in the corner of any of your MacBook screen. To do this all you have to do is go to system settings go to desktop and dock and at the bottom of the page you will find hot corners and then you can turn them on and do a bunch of different commands that you normally would have to take so long to do. You can automatically hide and show the dock depending on what apps you're in. So sometimes the dock, which is the little bar at the bottom with all your apps in it, sometimes it gets in the way of whatever you're trying to look at. Well, you can have it automatically hide or automatically appear depending on what app you have open. To do this, all you have to do is go to system settings, desktop and dock, and then automatically hide and show the dock. So now you can have it hide depending on what apps you have open. Continuing on with talking about the dock, you can add or remove any apps that you want or don't want that's in the dock. You can remove any app from the dock by doing a two finger click and then hitting options and then removing from dock. And then to add any app, all you have to do is go to the launch pad, pick any app and then grab it and hold it and then drag it into the dock and it will appear in the dock. These next five tricks that I'm gonna tell you all are gonna be hand gestures. And what that means is it's gonna be able to do different commands using your trackpad on the MacBook. And if you are enjoying this video, then make sure to subscribe because I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And with your help, we can definitely do it. If you three fingers swipe sideways on the trackpad, you can switch between any apps that you have open. Continuing on with your three fingers, if you swipe up this time on the trackpad, you can look at all the apps that are currently open. Adding your thumb into the mix, if you spread your thumb and three fingers apart, it will show all the apps that are open on your desktop. If you pinch your thumb and three fingers together, it will display the launch pad, which has all your apps that you have downloaded on the MacBook. If you have a web page or PDF that you can't read what that says because it's so small, if you double tap with two fingers, you can zoom in and then zoom back out. These final five tricks all going to be about the MacBook keyboard. So different commands that you can do with different keys of the keyboard. If you hit command A, you can select all the words that you have on any document. If you're in Google or Safari and you hit command T, it will open a brand new tab that has nothing in it. If you hit shift command B, it will take a screenshot or a screen recording depending on what you want. If your Mac is bugging out and you can't open any apps or do anything, you can hit Control Command Power button to force your Mac to restart. And finally, if you hit Control Command F, you can use any app or window that you have open and make it full screen. That concludes today's Tech and Gadgets for you video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, then leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos that are helpful like this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.